Hey guys, welcome to Friday. I want you to think of today's lesson as an academic magic wand because if you can master the three elements I'm gonna talk about in the next five minutes or so, you can convince most people to give you what you want. All right, I want you to meet the guy who knows how you can get everything you have ever wanted. This famed Greek philosopher and educator do you know his name? You're super smart if you do. It is Aristotle. And Aristotle is credited with naming the three tools of rhetoric that if you hit all three in any argument you make, will make it almost guaranteed that you're going to win. So we're going to talk about essays or debates, but you can actually use these rhetorical tools in like, you know, convincing your parents to extend your curfew or to, um, you know, convince the cutie in Spanish class to go out with you. So basically, we have these three elements that go into convincing somebody. It's called ethos, pathos, and logos. And I'm just going to spend a few minutes today talking about what they are and how they work. And then hopefully you can make sure that any like papers you write or speeches you give that you hit all three, because if you do all three well, chances are you have a really strong argument. Okay. So first up is ethos. So ethos is the credibility of your sources. So you want to use reliable information because it sways your audience that you know what you're talking about. So chances are, if you're here with me in the YouTube channel, you're still a teenager, right? You're not an expert in your field. So you personally probably don't have a lot of credibility just because of your young age. That'll come in time, but not yet. So what do you do to build ethos with your audience? You borrow the credibility of other experts. So you want to make sure that the sources you cite are really reliable and respected by educated people. So that is borrowing the ethos of others. And in doing that and properly citing that, I now, you are building ethos with me. I believe your credibility as a scholar because you are um, using reputable sources. It also, ethos, means that I believe that what you're arguing, that you have the best interests of the audience in mind. So ethos is also about the motivation of the person delivering the message. So like for me, a used car salesman, he might know a lot about the car he's trying to sell me, but he's going to have a real ethos problem from the get-go because he's a salesman, right? And my guard is going to be up. So I'm always going to be like a little dubious about believing his credibility. Like, is he just shying me on or does he really have my best interest at heart? probably not. So he might not win the argument just because that one leg of the three-legged stool ethos isn't there. Okay, next up is pathos. Pathos is touching of the emotions. I always think of my gut, right? Does it get me in the gut? Does it make me happy? Does it make me sad? Does it make me scared? Does it make me laugh? Anything that touches any of those emotions is pathos. So if you see politicians and they're doing their, you know, campaign stump speech, they often talk about, you know, the, the single mom who's working three jobs to put bread on the table. Well, those human examples are the pathos. They're making us feel for that person that this new policy will help. Um, and that's an element that you definitely need. You need to make us care. You need to humanize it. Um, that's why uh, lots of uh, speakers start with a joke, right? They want us to relax and laugh a little bit at the beginning. Um, it's also why a lot of effective lecturers um, use fear. Because if we feel scared of something, uh, we're, we're, we might take action, right? Because it's a really powerful emotion. Okay, then finally, logos. You have to have logical argumentation. You need data, statistics, evidence, concrete research that proves the point that you're arguing. So if you have all three of those built into your paper, your speech, your uh, PowerPoint presentation that you're giving to your parents about why they should let you uh, have a motorcycle, <laughs> good luck with the logos on the motorcycle argument, but maybe, I don't know, maybe you've got it. If you can build all three of those into your argument, you, my friend, have achieved the magic triangle right there in the middle. The center of our Venn diagram is where success happens. So a lot of arguments are missing one or two of the thing. You know, like if it's, if it's all pathos, if it's just all emotion, you're not going to win me over, right? Just because you want something that doesn't, doesn't make it that's going to happen. Um, but if you can, like, I believe in your credibility. I believe that the intent of where you're coming from is in my best interest also. And you have logical argument data to statistics to support it and emotionally it touches me dude 
you can have the motorcycle. You win. Like you're gonna win. Um, now sometimes students will ask me, okay, Randazzo, but what if the person you're arguing against also hits the magic triangle? And then I'd say it's the weight of the of the evidence. Like how well do you do all three? I, those are the best debates when both parties come armed to like win the argument when you've got a solid stool a solid three-legged stool on both sides ooh, now we got a fight i like it um a, a, an intellectual fight not a physical fight <laughs> all right so that is it for the tools of rhetoric keep aristotle in mind the next time you're trying to get something you want from an audience hit all three and you will be the victor that is it for this week i hope you guys are set for a beautiful awesome stupid in this weekend. I will be back on Monday for more proofreading practice with mechanics, usage, and grammar. Always, always, I love it if you subscribe. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you. You're awesome. If you haven't yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. You're here. You're doing the learning. Go ahead and give me an add a girl. Hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys, I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.